One moment that I'll never forget was about this time last year, the president took a secret trip to Iraq. The president has such a great appreciation for our military, and he knows that they represent the very best of our country. On Christmas night in December 2018, we flew out in the darkness, no lights on Air Force One, which is a pretty remarkable thing to watch, and we landed in the pitch black in Iraq, and we got off and the president went into the dining hall facility there where members of the military had gathered thinking that they would have dinner with senior military leadership. No idea that the President of the United States and Commander-in-Chief would be walking through that door. The eruption of applause and enthusiasm when he stepped into the room was a sound that is beyond anything else, and probably something that he and the First Lady and certainly all of us cherished, not just that moment, but every day. And it was one of those things that I'll forever be grateful I got to witness. As the President came in, one of the soldiers yelled out to him and said, Mr. President, I re-enlisted into the military because of you. And the president turned to him and he said, and son, I'm here because of you. <laughs> After that exchange, the president and the first lady went from table to table greeting each soldier and taking pictures with them. I was standing over to the side and that, that soldier came over to me and he walked up and he said, thank you, Sarah, for being here. I love the way you handle yourself. You have a tough job. I politely corrected him thinking, I don't have a tough job compared to what you're doing. And um, he's spending Christmas away from his family, sometimes every year, while I'm just gone for a few hours. He's making the ultimate sacrifice. And I reached up and I hugged him and I thanked him. And as I did, and I stepped back about to walk away, he asked me to hold on for a second. And he reached up and he tore the patch off of his arm. And he put it into my hand. And he said, we're in this together. To this day, I can barely talk about that story without getting emotional. Here's somebody who is sacrificing everything, putting everything on the line for our freedom, and he has the willingness to thank me. This is who our military are.